Those that thought the data classes module was lackluster in features will probably be very excited by this update. It is a proposed feature in Python 3.13 to add converters into data classes. So Atras have had this for a while, Pedantic has a similar system, but now they are coming to the data classes standard library. Now the feature isn't actually implemented yet, it's only been proposed and it's currently planned for Python 3.13, but that might change. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you what that proposal looks like, how it's going to be implemented, how it differs, if at all, to Atras, and how you'll be able to use it when it actually comes around. Of course, if you find this video helpful at any point, then consider liking to let me know, and maybe subscribing if you want to see more videos like this. If you want to support this channel further, then you can do so by becoming a member or a patron. All the information you need is in the description below. But with that out of the way, let's have a look at these new converters. So this is the proposal in question, PEP712. Uh, it's in draft at the moment, but I can't see a reason why it would get rejected uh, because the implementation seems quite well thought out. In fact, it's exactly the same as it is in Atras. So there isn't really an awful lot to debate. I think the vast majority of the discussion on this issue so far has been whether or not converters are worth including in the standard library, like how useful they actually are. But from looking at the discourse threads, a lot of people seem to be in support of this feature. So I imagine it will probably go ahead in Python 3.13. Um, but yeah, the specification says that there'll be a new converter parameter, which will take just a callable, and it is used to convert the values when assigning an associated attribute. Again, you know, much like it works in Atras, this is proved with our implementation example here, which is really, I mean, there's a lot going on here. So I'm gonna do my own, um, slightly simplified example to kind of show you how this will all work. But you can see that, say this ID parameter, for example. So we want an int here, but we're passing it through as a string. So one thing we can do is provide a converter equals int uh, keyword argument to the field, and then that will be converted to an int when we, uh, when we get into it. So if we go over into our editor, and I'm gonna show you how to do it in Atras first, and then I'll show you how to do it in data classes after. So we've already, installed Atras, so we can just do, actually I'm gonna do from Atras import uh, define, I think this is how you do it normally. I don't really use Atras, I tend to stick with data classes because me and Atras normally don't get along. I might make a video about why at some point, but for now, just do define like that, and in class, we use our standard example of having a name, an age, and jobs as our little profile, where our name is a string, age is an integer, and jobs is a list of strings. So if we wanted to make sure that our age was an integer, even if we passed, say, p equals profile uh, name, say, me, and then say if I pass my age as a string here, and we also need jobs, so I'll leave that empty for now, uh, then we can do field converter equals int. And that will actually get rid of the typing error, interestingly enough, because the types become convertible to int. So you can now pass in anything that can be converted to an integer. So you can pass in a string if you want. When we actually get to this point, if I print p.age here and then run the script, we can see, oh, it might actually be easier if I do type. <laughs> you can see that it's of class integer, so it has actually converted it. Uh, and, that, and that works because int is a callable. So it basically just you know passes through the value into this int callable and you get int whatever you passed in. The only slight issue with that is that you do take a bit of a performance hit in that if you pass an integer in to begin with, then that also gets converted into an integer, I believe. I don't know if there's any special magic to avoid that, if someone knows, let me know, but I'm, I don't think that's the case. Something a little bit more advanced is if we were to say, if I passed like software engineer in here, if we wanted to do um, some fancy formatting on our list here, and we could do that using a Lambda converter. Uh, so we could do field and then converter equals Lambda list. And then if we wanted to title case everything, X dot title for X in list. And now if we printed p.jobs, I believe, that's printing the type again, that's not what we want. Do, 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 do. There we go, so we passed in all lowercase, but uh, the converter has made it all title case. The problem with using a lambda is that the type hint 
is of type any, um, which I'll talk about later. But I wanted to show this off because when you get to your data classes implementation field like that, and then we change this to data class, uh, MyPy is going to give an awful lot of errors right now because obviously it's not implemented in data classes yet, but it's all the same. So you don't need to change anything down here. You just need to change your decorator. The fields all work the same and all of the little intricacies also all work the same. So you'll have this convertible to int type hint there, but you'll also get the any out of the lambda. And this is one of the things, I think it's in the how to teach this, that it warns about, yeah. Avoiding lambdas for converters as the synthesized init parameters type will become any. Um, so what you'd want to do instead is you would have something like a formatter up here that took, we'll say it just takes a list um, like that. And then it returns a list of string. Uh, and then we just return this, uh, return this, and then we do this. And if I bring Atras back and do define like that, and then we'll, we won't get any errors. We'll see that if we go into our type hints, the jobs is now a list of string. And I wanted to show all that off because I wanted to show that the data classes implementation as it is proposed is virtually no different to the actress implementation at all. So if you're you know, a proponent of data classes and the converters are the only thing keeping you from using data classes rather than actress, then Python 3.13 should have your back. If you already use actress, there's probably not a huge reason to swap over to data classes. But I did want to show that the implementations look you know, pretty much identical from what I can tell, and that there is generally a lot of support for bringing it into the standard library, so I'd be surprised if it doesn't make it into Python 3.13. But that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about in this video. If you have any questions about what you've seen here, or you have any ideas for videos that I could do in the future, let me know in the comments below. I read every single one, so your feedback is greatly appreciated. I also want to thank my amazing patrons and members on screen now, especially Mazard Rogerman III for being so generous. I'll see you in the next video where we talk about another recent proposal to Python, this time to tackle the scourge of requirements.txt files. So I'll see you for that.